Hi there, welcome to blog.web6.org. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can install WordPress 3.2 um, testing version, not even a uh, beta version yet, but uh, we're going to install it today in cPanel and see what kind of uh, coming features. And uh, I'm going to install in this uh, address. So first step is you're going to your cPanel and scroll down and see PHP MyAdmin and MySQL databases and first we're going to MySQL databases and we're going to open it up in a new window on your tab and here as you can see I don't have any database name so we're going to click on new database and we're going to type in a uh, new database uh, 211 just uh, make sure that you make a unique one and create database now go back here we're going to add new username and we can use uh, for example like kimi2011 uh, and then for this password we use password generator and then generate password and add something as you like and then going to copy or write down somewhere on a paper that you will not forget because that password we will need later on and then use password create user okay so edit user this with that password and go back now we're going to add this users to this database so we're going to scroll down and add this user that we just uh, created to this database and click add Make sure you click on all privileges and then make changes. So now we are ready to make a, to upload our file. So go back again. Now we go home. And here we're going to look for file manager. Click on that and hit go. Here we're going to upload our WordPress uh, 3.2 in zip file. Make sure that you have it here on your desktop and then we're going to uh, upload it to our server. So, so here we're going to upload it. Hit upload button and hit browse. And here there it is our WordPress zip file and then open. So now it's complete and we go back home. There it is, you have it. So now we're going to extract it. Here it is, button extract, extract, and extract files. Hit close. And now you can see we have this WordPress file. So we're going to delete this zip file like usual, delete it. Now we're going to open it. So by double clicking it and click select all. So I'm going to expand this button. Here it is, select all. If you don't see it, so there it is, this button, select all, and then uh, by clicking this button, you're going to select all of the files, and then going to move file, and delete this WordPress, if you want to install it in your root, and hit move files. Of course, now it's gone, and you go to up one level, and there it is, you see all your files, and then we're going to delete this WordPress empty folder, delete it, delete file. Now we're going to install it, so... Here it is my, uh, my block URL. I'm going to refresh it. Now it's uh, showing error and then we're going to create a, config a configuration file. Sorry. And let's go. Uh, the database name would be our database name. So we go back to home and database. Now scale databases and look for your database name. There it is. There is your database name. Copy it and paste that in. And username was this one. Copy. And the password was on your net pa uh, notepad or in your paper that you have uh, that you have written down. Password and double prefix. This is very important. You're going to make random like that this is your table prefix and make sure that it is not easy to guess and hit submit
Now site title, make sure that it's your keyword there, for example, like how to blog. But for now, I'm going to name it like uh, my, my blog uh, address, like that. And then use your username, make sure that it's not easy to guess, for example, not easy to guess. Okay, make sure that it's uh, green, so it's safe. And your email address. Uh, if you install it and you want Google to index your site, make sure that it's ticked. But this is just for demonstration, so I'm going to untick of that uh, sentences. And then now we're going to run install WordPress button. Alright, and your username. Login. And my password. Locking. All right, this is your new WordPress 3.2. If we scroll down in the bottom, uh, you are now using development uh, version uh, 3.2. So it's not yet um, not yet uh, released beta version, but uh, more or less. WordPress 3.2 will look like this. You see the themes is uh, we have twenty eleven theme. You see, and uh, in this bleeding version, still have twenty ten, which is old version, and twenty eleven. I'm not sure if the WordPress 3.2 come. And it will be included and the interface of your dashboard will be changed. The fonts will be a little bit smaller. So uh, let's see what new features again, the dashboard and the post. So we're going to click on post. The fonts will be a little bit smaller and then we're going to edit this hello world post. going to make this window a little bit bigger so you will see now as you can see we have a new button which is full screen toggle full screen mode if I hover it and this kitchen sink will be always there but if you toggle this screen so we're going to click that button and you see it now has full screen for example this is visual if I go to HTML you see that I can write in HTML go back to visual again and we go back to that uh, like the old version you see that uh, back button you can click on back button and you go back here again so that's all basically now you have a new interface of WordPress 3.2 which now we have a little bit smaller funds as the previous uh, versions so so after seeing the new interfaces of WordPress 3.2, which is not yet released, so the first step you're going to do after installing WordPress is changing your uh, admin name. You see, now this is our real name, which is very important and uh, the other people do not have to see that. So first step you're going to users, there it is, and your profile, click on that. And here you're going to change your uh, nickname. So let's say we're going to change that as admin. So other people can can see that, doesn't matter. But in fact, your login name is this one. So you're going to then display name publicly as going to choose admin. Now you're going to update profile, right? And your user is updated. You see now admin, if we go to our blog, this post will show by admin and not by your a real login name. So that's all guys. I hope it's going to be help how to install WordPress 3.2, which is not yet released yet. So thank you for watching and goodbye. Take care.